so let's talk about what this is. The name of your cocoa, again, if you want to tell everybody what it is. It's Mike and Jen's Hot Cocoa, and I named it after my, my two kids. Uh, we just really started it as a hobby uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, by happenstance, we got it onto a shelf in, in one of the stores in, in my hometown. And I had to have, I had to think of a name for it. a shelf at a, a, a local store. But the question then becomes, okay, like how you started doing the hot cocoa with your kids, okay, and then how that actually converted to business to where you got that that first store. I mean, what's so special about your hot cocoa that Swiss chocolate cocoa doesn't have? I mean, let's talk about that origin story. And get, I, I want to get really granular because I think there's a lot to learn here with your experience of how you took what should be a kid's summertime hobby into a full blown business. Sure. Well, you know, back to when I started this, it was, it was just a hobby. I, I, my daughter was going through so much hot cocoa. I bought one of these huge canisters at Sam's Club. And every day she would come in from playing in the snow because it snows here, like, 10 months of the year, I swear. My, my daughter was coming in every day and wanted hot cocoa, and she would say, Dad, I need some hot cocoa. And I, would, I was going through this huge canister. One day I looked at the back of it, and I couldn't pronounce, you know, most of the ingredients in there. And I said, I said, Jenny, we should make our own hot cocoa. And as a nine-year-old, she's like, yeah. And I'm like, we should make the best in the world. And I'm like, she's like, yeah. And then I found out it was OCD. And post-divorce, I was going to spend the next year of my life off off my job um, after hours and uh, try to perfect hot cocoa. I, I tried to date, I've tried over a hundred cocoa powders. Uh, and, you know, I was trying to solve problems, first of all, for my own family. My thought was not to get a thousand stored. Well, the one thing that was really concerning to me was it had partially hydrogenated soybean oil. And I'm like, this is powder. How do you get oil in a powder like that? And I'm like, okay, that doesn't sound quite right to me. Uh, so I knew I wanted it just simple ingredients, just real. So it's five ingredients in there. And, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a very straightforward product. Um, and I, I tweaked the recipe over the course of a year. I tortured my friends and family by having five ingredients out. How did you tweak it? Like as far as putting more salt, more, more sugar, more cocoa, uh, like how was that tweak? over time sure well first of all it was choosing the right ingredients and then getting the the correct blend that we wanted you know some people like it some people like it more chocolatey some people like it more creamy and milk you know toward toward the milk flavor um some like it sweeter um, you know so those were all kind of things i was trying to basically find a balance for us my son doesn't like it as sweet my daughter and i you can basically fill the cup with the mix and then add a drop of water and we're fine but yeah, so it was kind of like trying to find a balance for our own family and friends. But first we had to get those ingredients right. And not every cocoa powder is created equal. 